You're right there. Um, there's a, an amusing story at the moment. There's this Dutch guy uh, called Johan Hubers, and um, he's building a working replica of Noah's Ark as a testament to his Christian faith. Um, this guy from Holland, he's built um, a replica of Noah's Ark and it's got models of life-size animals and stuff in it and he's hoping it will renew people's faith in Christianity. Um, and uh, no doubt many people are going to go see it and it will, and many Christians are probably going to go, yes, it's wonderful, isn't it wonderful? But it, it says here in the BBC article, it's quite funny, it says, Johan's Ark is a fifth of the size of Noah's Ark and will carry farmyard animals. Now there's loads of videos on here about the idiocy of the Noah's Ark story. It's not idiotic, but people who take it seriously are idiotic. Um, in, in a way, uh, Johan Huber's Ark, don't you think it's going to disprove the whole Noah's Ark story? Because in order to make it functional, because it's going to sail from city to city, it's quite a cool idea. But in order to make it work, it has to be a fifth of the size of Noah's Ark, and it's only going to carry some farmyard animals. It's not going to carry every animal in the world. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't, the fact that he has to make it that small or it's going to not float, and the fact that he's only going to bring farmyard animals shows, surely, that the story's nonsense. And but I guarantee it will probably rekindle the faith of some Christians, as Johann uh, Huber's wants it to. But that's, oh, it's amusing anyway, so I thought I'd uh, um, give you a heads up on that. <laughs>